اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the modern western mainstream maps of the world shows 195 secular sovereign nation which was established by the western powers and independence of colonial borders was given back to those who politically aligned with western hegemony after World War II. After the conquest of the Ottoman Empire, new nation states were created and governance was given to the serving political powers of the colonial legacy. It will be fair to say some nations have lost landmass and other nations have gained from siding with western powers as part of the divide and rule tactics. Every people group will do what must be done for its survival of its own cultural or religious hegemony with the understanding that modern day maps are not the true reflection of true borders the question must be asked where is the geopolitical location of the landmass of Saba from a Quranic perspective Allah says in Surah Al-Saba verse 15 Indeed there was for Saba a sign in their dwelling place two gardens one on the right hand and one on the left eat of the provisions of your lord and be grateful to him a fair land and an often forgiven lord territorial landmass of Saba in southern republic of Somalia but they turned away from the obedience of Allah so we sent against them floods released from the dam and we converted two gardens into gardens producing bitter bad fruit and turmeric and some few lote trees Like this we requited them because they were ungrateful disbelievers and never do we requite in such a way except those who are ungrateful disbelievers and we placed between them and the towns which we blessed towns easy to be seen and we made the stages of the journey between them easy saying travel in them safely both by night and day they said our lord make the stages between our journey longer and they wrong themselves so we made them as tales in the land and we dispersed them all totally verily in this are are indeed signs for every steadfast grateful person and indeed iblis did prove true he thought about them and they followed him all except a group a true believers in the oneness of Allah sadaqallahu alazim now looking at the topography of modern day yemen the landmass itself does not hold any rivers the landmass of modern day yemen holds what is known as wadis wadis are a seasonal water passages modern day yemen holds a greater prize than the two jannatain it holds the bab al mandab which is the oldest passage which connects the western world to the eastern world The destruction of the people of Saba 
or the Eastern trade route is an important part of Western hegemony for the people of Saba to once again return they must return back to the religion of La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah for this was our only strength this is our only way to success to those who are watching Allah ma'ak may Allah be with you